We got to play better defense as a team, take the challenge one on one, uh, not look for help, and do the tough things to win basketball games like this. Uh, we didn't do that tonight, and I have to do a better job of coaching that and, and working on those, continuing to work in those areas so we can get better defensively. We needed one stop, one box out, something that we work on pretty much every day, um, and we just couldn't get it done. And uh, I tip my hat to their players. They're better players. They showed up. They made baskets when they needed to make baskets, and um, they won the game. Uh, that we need to play better defense. Um, we've been giving teams high shooting percentages, and um, that's been hurting us tonight. They didn't really have a great shooting percentage, but we couldn't get a stop when we wanted to. And our whole emphasis coming here was getting three stops in a row and coming down and, uh, and executing our offense. We didn't get stops. We executed 50%, maybe 60% of the game, and then the other 40%, we kind of made it up as we went. And that's just coaching. I just I have to get better with that. Yeah, it, I knew it was going to be some ups and some downs. It's just the downs hurt so bad. I mean, I don't, I don't believe in moral victories. I don't believe in, hey, wait till next year. And we, we had two games that we should have won, for sure. We were right there, and we just didn't make the right decisions. And that's part of the growing pains, but it still hurts. How do you balance developing players versus winning games this year? I mean, you say you're not, you're not about to on next year, but Halo's struggling a little bit at various times. How do you balance the here and now versus or even further down the season? Yeah, we're we're trying to, you know, play those guys less minutes, the younger guys, trying to get the maximum effort out of them with less minutes and trying to rely on the seniors and rely on the veteran guys. But the, some of the veteran guys are struggling as well. And um, we just got to keep pushing, man. You got to keep developing your freshmen and you got to you got to play your seniors. The seniors are playing. They just got to they got to step up. They got to we got to play. We got to. We got to be more serious overall as a group when it comes to this game, uh, the freshmen included. And I just have to keep, like I say, I put all of this on my back. I have to continue to do a better job of developing the freshmen and getting these seniors ready to play. What are the positives you can take away from this Yeah, for the most part, we tried to compete. It was just like little stretches where we couldn't get it done. Against Oklahoma State, it was a seven minute period where we just couldn't get anything going offensively or defensively and they pushed away. And then there was a stretch where we had a chance to knock them out today and couldn't get it done and they got back into the game a couple of times and they made the plays down the stretch and we didn't. So one thing that I'll, I'll take away from this is that we're in the games. We just got to learn how to finish them. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever lost a game by 20. It's really weird, but I understand that there's going to be some some games like this with this team. I mean, when you you got a bunch of freshmen that are playing, you know, they used to being the man on their team. Uh, sometimes things are going to go a little array, and I don't blame the freshmen. It's just sometimes, you know, during the game, you're just going to have some bumps and bruises. So I'm seeing that. Hopefully, I'm learning from it. We have to learn from it as a team. It's only a loss if you don't learn from it. We got to learn from it and grow from this. Probably. I didn't see the play. I want. I really want to see the play. We run that play a lot. It's never been called at all. Uh, I don't know what the guy did because they were really trying to deny Tyler the ball. So I don't know if he initiated the contact and the ref failed for that. I really don't know. I got to see the play. But it's a routine play that we run all the time. And I thought the ref called a foul on the guy grabbing Tyler's arm because I saw him grab his arm. And I don't know if that was from the contact of Alo or what. But, you know, we'll, we'll have to get better with that. It was a dribble handoff to Tyler uh, to get the ball to Jeremiah on the weak side coming off a, a double screen. And uh, we were trying to get Jeremiah going downhill with a strong hand. You mentioned you've got to get better on defense. What is it now that's causing people not in the right spots? Well, I mean, we just got to take the challenge man to man. We started off the season really trying to talk about help and where the defense needs to be and where your teammates need to be in case you get beaten. It's time to start focusing on manning up and doing your job. Don't worry about help. 
And uh, like I said, it's coaching. And, uh, you know, you learn from these situations and you keep adjusting until you get the right mix. And uh, we have to hang our hat on defense. No way. No, I'm, I'm all in for this year. Man, honestly, we should be, instead of three and three, we should be five and one at least. And um, I'm growing as a coach, and I'm not, looking, I'm not looking to next year. I'm looking for this year. I want to compete. I don't want to be a laughing stock and then talk about moral victories. That doesn't do us any good. We're trying to build a culture, and the guys here, we're all going to have to step up and push towards that culture. Thank you. Thank you.